Welcome back to Fresh on the Scene. We got another sick bow. Make some noise! Yeah. <laughs> These guys have been to nearly every event, man. Mikey keeps coming to the events, and unfortunately, his opponent keeps fucking off or not no turning jokes. it up. So, now Evo stepped up. So, first off, let me make an introduction. We have Mikey Boss! <laughs> And on my left, <laughs> on my left, we have Evo. Make some noise! <laughs> Evo's battle before, man. He's definitely got the potential so far to bring him back. And he's deciding who yeah, to go, go first. first. I'll go first. You're going first? Yeah. Alright, first round, Mikey Bars. Yo, when it comes to Mikey Barge, yeah, music is my passion. Stay fresh to death, top shelves where I'm classed in. Had a hard life, so I'm on a different mind state. Choking's not my thing, I don't hesitate. I'm on a mission, so I ain't got no time for games. And for the, f and for the flow, trust me, it cannot be tamed. I, I could take one for the team, but it's usually fit gash I be hitting. I was balls deep on his bird. She said it felt like I was in control of her nervous system. <laughs> Hey, the crowd gon' tell you firsthand who you're not better than. Evo still wet behind the ears. I am a world-class veteran. <laughs> I treat my battles like pussy. I go hard when I get it in. I got a bit of an accent, so I know the crowd listening. After I was finished with his moms, her gash was the same size as the tin that I put my biscuits in. <laughs> 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 I go into all my battles with no fear. Just because I'm from Bermuda don't mean I kick around coconuts and throw spears. <laughs> and I can tell you firsthand, you're not gonna beat me, bro. He looked like a young version of Jimmy Savile. Not to mention he came dressed like a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's deep, yo. I really think you need therapy, and trust me, I am not talking chemo. Time. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> sick, that man, sick. By the way, call your old time, okay? Yep. Right. right, first round on Evo. I said, disregarding any jokes in my last battle, who thought that what I did say was pretty sick. Well, peep game, because I've actually prepared for this prick. I'm a tear it to bits. Rip his insides out. Leave nothing there but his ribs and a massive scar on his belly on the cesarean tip. Nice. Right. And if I was as lazy as him, <laughs> well, I'd be here in the ring. There's nothing special about I guess he's scared of the king when I'm Mike Tyson I had him shut before we got paired for this shit I mean you don't write Kind of You mumble when you spit in the open mic man The only thing you are good for in these events is fucking sharing a split <laughs> <laughs> You little faggot <laughs> Hey My man's got a nose like a hatchet I bet you can, I bet you can cook cocaine with that shit <laughs> <laughs> Sniff an eighth and lose a note in the same action I mean <laughs> Nostrils, bro. <laughs> They're massive. <laughs> You're gonna get beat so bad in this battle, it'll be tragic and harder to identify your body than it is to tell your accent. Nice. So just watch me abuse this man. I get all up in your face and tell you straight your tunes or what. You'll get hit with a right hook to the ribs and oh, they'll crack. I'd send an uppercut to your nose, but I'd lose my hand. <laughs> <laughs> But there is one way you can beat me in this battle though. So everybody, listen clear. See this might be my last part. Because if he sniffs up in here then Evo disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here! <laughs> Time. Time! <laughs> Second round, Mikey Bars. Yo. Before I say anything else, I gotta let you guys know something I found out about Evo's grandma. <laughs> Oh. She got a orangutan titties. <laughs> she got a waist this thin, and her gas so big. Her gas so big you could do chin ups in. <laughs> I'll be honest, I passed out at six. It was sticky as fuck, hot as hell, and I just could not bear the smell. <laughs> I have no sympathy, so trust me, I'll put the pressure on you. Boss got lyrics equipped like Transformers. Ugh. I got some gas before I came here, but I'm still horny. Let me check, see if your sister's hair still on me. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey Ball's on top of his game, you can't see me. You got more of a chance catching me in socks and sandals with a yellow mankini offering car watches using a pink squeegee. <laughs> oh, oh, catch me in a multicolored dashiki out in the middle of the woods doing voodoo in a snakeskin teepee. <laughs> Oh, 
You ain't got nothing compared to me, your boy just go off it. He be doing some shit like Tomb Raider and he Larry Crawford. <laughs> uh, uh, when it comes to stars, I just go on my bars all day. Come on, I came here to battle all day. I could just freestyle and make anything my, I say sound hot. Come on now, I'm just rhyming. When I get the money up, I'm gonna have the car so I can drop the top. All right, time. Time. Second round, Evo. Evo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Evo. Did you get that? <laughs> right, ready. Right, see me, Evo. I have spent seven years perfecting my trade. Obviously, I'm an MC, but I'm also a butcher, by the way. I've been mastering different techniques for when I get my hands on a blade. So if you know me, you should know that I'm not playing no games when I get in your space and say, let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? But why so serious to hear you say, well let me explain. See, I don't mean to play Heath, but I'm sick of joking around with rappers you think they can have me beat. But at least now when he smiles, he has a face full of cheese. <laughs> no? Well let's change the scene. I got this feeble geezer feeling weak in the knees. I it was you who all we was on about when he said she got some tea. Cheers. Now this battle here, it's the start of my undefeated streak. Well, live anyway. I mean, recording-wise, I've beat MCs from the Northern Hemisphere right down to the Southern Seas. And from the age of 15, he used to battle every week for two years straight, but you backed a couple faggots on the streets in between, and you know who you are. Do you still think you'll beat me here today, brother? Please. <laughs> I'm fucking killing him. I'm ill at him. He claims that he's sick, well he is. Yeah, sicker than eight victims. Brain cells killed from the cancer. You stay ridden with MRSA and shingles. Meningitis infected your spinal cords, moved up to your throat, you could call it laryngitis. Now you can't speak when you like. And he starts to mumble and forget his words, um, cause the um, dementia is taking over his mind. <laughs> and when he's holding a mic, he starts to choke from all the smoke that's inside of his lungs that he's inhaled for most of his life. Time. Time. <laughs> Final round, Mikey Bars. Yo, it's gonna take a lot of bobbing and weaving just the last of the word, the last of the third, because these balls is too sick to be beat by a few verbs. Evo be who? It won't happen, cause after it's all over your face and beat the mat when the jab start reacting. You ain't got a chance, buddy. He better off coming, coming to the ring to dance, money. I am the king of the jungle, therefore I don't fight for food, I just do it for the love of the rumble. So get ready, cause we are, after the fight it's gonna be over, you gonna be stuck in ER. I feel sorry for your fans too, cause those who came here to see you win gonna see you lose. And I hope they ain't bet no dough, cause I guarantee after it's all over they gonna be broken, you know. After the fight is the after party and they won't have no money to go. They say I'm a champion, disregard them hard looks. I replace them with them lightning jabs and hard hooks. They don't care how hard you try, cause all it takes is one blow to your face to go and shut your eye. You be who, it won't happen. Cause that's all over your face, we beat the Mets soon as jabs start reacting. Time. Third and final round, Evo. <laughs> Those three rounds you just spot, awful. I mean, you? I like the boringest girl. <laughs> so just watch how I morbidly torture his pride with these sordid thoughts in my mind. If it's war in the ring, you'll get beat in all four corners tonight, and I mean literally beat to within one inch of your life, then I'm boring with knives. I'm lying. I'll grab a sword, cut him into four quarter divides, back him up to the barman to pour me a pint, open the door, and throw his corpse in the cellar outside. But don't worry if you lose, though. This master razor was shit, too. <laughs> a, bit, a bit rough around the edges, but hey, I let it slide Just so he could have a slice But what I mean is, how was my battle fresh on the scene When he took a step up in the league that night? And that's a true story But fuck that shit And considering I'm in the festive spirit I have to wish a merry motherfucking Christmas to you <laughs> But now I've got you thinking How can I turn this into a punch and keep it relevant? Well, here's the evidence You see, if you bring your gift and actually have some presence, then you'll be able to demonstrate your rapping skills and properly display that once a year Mikey Bars knows how to sell a tape. <laughs> nice. I mean, look at his face. Have I got you bemused, Bermudan? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want me to prove how you're losing? 
or talk about your roots and how my British colony do just moved in and put a stamp on your country like wrapped in wires just approved you. Nice. Yeah. So theoretically speaking, I own you. Not on a racist tip, because I fucking like this dude. But I just had to write this fool. See, if you think that life is hard, just imagine the 17th century version of Mikey Bars. <laughs> he used to wipe my great, 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 great granddad's ass. <laughs> Man, you should have known when this battle got set up that I wasn't fucking playing. To an extent where Almighty God couldn't save you. I just hope you die a slow and painful death like Patrick Swayze. Or Whitney Houston. Fuck it. Maybe even Amy. But either way, it doesn't matter, because all I'm trying to say is you haven't got the heart to survive in this life like Gary Barlow's baby. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Nothing bastard. Yeah, it's GWE. Just watched two sick battles. First off, it was Evo and Mikey Bars. I'm going to give it 2 1 to Evo. And don't want to break it down because it'll take too long, but 2 1 Evo. Uh, Nero, at Nero187 channel on Twitter, just watched Evo with Mikey Boys. It was a fucking sick battle, but I'd give it fucking Evo 3 0, straight up. Yes, day three ways, DNA clothing, fair peaks. Um, I've given that battle to Evo. Um, I think the first round, I think Mikey's bit too, too many lines from other battles that I've already seen. Um, but, but he came good, I think Mikey Bars are going to be back, but I'm going to give it 3 0 to Evo. Welcome back to Fresh on the Scene, we just had a sick battle, make some noise! <laughs> Mikey Bars versus Evo, and the winner is three to zero, and it goes to Evo. Make some noise! Yeah. Come on, man. Take on Mikey Bars, that guy. Definitely be free Raptor. Fuck me, freeways, dude. Yes.